like a Mandalorian. When you are finished here, I will take you back to the camp. You can let the rest of your squad know what you've discovered. After you left, your squad... Zaga said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth the wait. And here it is. A salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. I assure you, they won't know what hit them. Yes, just like a new Mandalorian recruit proving themselves into the heart of a war as well. Mandalore has given you a great honor. Unfortunately, its weapon systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. The fighters won't be able to stop that. Minor systems. Nothing you need concern yourself with. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. Basilisk? A basilisk here? The Mandalorians are attacking the city! Vaklu has made an alliance with the Mandalorians? Men! Fight for your lives! Looks like they still remember us. I hope to build on that legacy, but now is not the time for talk. It's the time for action. <laughs> We have vivid memories of the last time they fell to Isis. The men still aren't convinced that there isn't a Mandalorian invasion. It's nice to see we're still remembered. I'm glad we finally met up again. We will honor our end of the deal. The General is coming right now to... Breathe. Thank you for coming here. It is an honor to meet you, Master Jedi. I trust that Colonel Tobin has made adequate arrangements for you. I understand you've already sent your people to deal with the Sith on the moon. I know that we promised you the Sith and Jedi artifacts located in our Royal Museum. I thought that they would be priceless to you. Do you require anything else? I understand we've asked you to take tremendous risks for a cause that isn't your own. I will make good on payment. What do you mean? That could be useful. And regardless, their other alternative is the Jedi, which is unacceptable. 
This will be arranged for you. I presume that this is sufficient payment for your assistance. Indeed, the debt we'd owe you would be tremendous. What else do you want? That is part of the plan. A vital part. That isn't a matter of payment. When Queen Talia is dead, and the royal palace mine, I am willing to give you 10,000 credits. Now that we are done with the matter of your payment, we need to talk about what needs to be done. My plan is to divide my forces. My main body has many Sith soldiers and their masters. Also, it has many beasts that somehow the Sith control. I am going to take that body and assault the royal palace head on. The casualties will be extreme, but we will break through, and also weaken the Sith tremendously. I want you to lead a detachment of my men that will take the sky ramp, then go to the palace via that route. You will have no Sith and no beasts. Your leadership and prowess will be the only chance they have. I know that you can do the job. You should make haste to the palace, because at any point they will have learned of your attack on their base on the Duxon Moon. Together, we will crush their army, and then deal with Talia. After that, it won't take the Sith long to realize they've been betrayed. But together, we will crush their forces, and then deal with Talia. You will need to clear the way for our troops on the sky ramp. One of my officers will be assigned to you to follow your orders. When we meet again, it will be in the palace and death to anyone that stands in our way. Colonel Tobin has ordered us to follow you. With you in command, the royal palace will fall this day. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith. Those beasts. Those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. I think the situation has gotten even worse. Worse? How is that even possible? It can always get worse. An old student is returning. I fear for us all. My men and I will meet you at the sky ramp.
The Sky Ramp is one of the primary access routes to the Royal Palace. Our fighters have been strafing and bombing this area routinely. There are still Royalists defending this area, but their numbers should be thinned. There are two Force Shield checkpoints. We need to gain access to the turret tower. There is an access terminal that can shut those shields down. You and I should clear the path, then my men will follow. Call for reinforcements! 
reinforcements! Backloose troops are storming the Skyrim! pin Attack them, men. Don't let them take the turret.
They're gonna overrun our position! Send in the droid reinforcements! We need them now! that power conductor. We can't do anything about it here. Alice has already locked down all secondary computer systems on the Skyland, but we'll find their slicer in the palace. <laughs> Someone get the force shield back online! Get it off, Nick! She's on... I just sent a message to the men to secure the sky ramp. Command has already broken into the palace grounds. By the time we get to the palace, they'll be inside. Colonel Tobin will meet us there. General Vaklu is fighting the Sith. Men, attack the Sith! Protect the General! That 
crystal is bonded to you through most interesting. Your is there something else? The beast is a lesson in. The beast's strength is prodigious and you can learn much from it or draw upon it. His life can be a beacon in the dark places of the galaxy where... Speak with him, discern his nature, perhaps the... The plan seems to be working. The Sith and their forces went to the north, but the beasts turned on the Sith and... In order to get to the throne room, we'll have to open the security door. There are security terminals to the north. Both terminals need to be deactivated to open the way to the... Th My officer will catch up to you once you've secured... Silent, it's... it's the moon. The Duxon moon. Vaklu has indeed betrayed us. First we kill the beasts, then the royalists, and then... then Vaklu dies.
love you. Shall I take you back to...
Captain. The dining room is almost secure. I don't know. Another wave of them has already arrived, Corporal. Everyone, hold your lines. A Sith is with them. Throw everything you've got at them. <laughs> Could stop her. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosanan ansata, unta chiwita inka. Everyone, we have to stop the Sith.
The droids. We must stop the Jedi they have with them. You're no Jedi. Your heart is as black as Malax ever was. But you will not touch this terminal as long as I'm alive. Everyone, attack! Draga Nix, Chunda Juta, Chunda Du. Chubolia na Chunoga Uramo Niunbash, Gescal Yunta Mosceska. Bram Tabanin Sochu. Da come Jus Mac Miki Baranje dosos, Cavadumpa, Mo Wendido Chokerembi Norta Kunyun. Chuta! What a woman, Muli Rapicho!
Well done. There is just one last obstacle before the throne room. The beast that was used to break through the force field into the throne room lies ahead. No doubt it has slain its Sith handlers and now has a taste for human blood. Ignore the beast! Into the throne room! The Queen must die! Don't blast it all! care of the guards. Clear the way to the Queen. This ends here, Vaklu. So, you've come to us. I had thought coming to Doxon might cause our paths to intersect. And I see that I'm right. But it turns out you were the enemy all along. The connection between these places and you was stronger than I knew. I had heard you were working with Vaklu, but I didn't want to believe it. Why are you sided with him? These ends don't justify those means. Some things are a matter of principle. Have you forgotten everything you were taught? So how do we handle this? Don't expect me to be too forthcoming with answers. You've chosen your path. I will not help you along it. You think I would tell you that? I'm no fool. Are you done with your questions? And it appears they have new blood with them. You probably wanted who leads them, what are their weaknesses. The answers you seek will only help you down the road you've chosen. I'm sorry to the Jedi, student, and friend I once knew, but I don't know who you are. No, I won't. You may think the dark side has granted you great power, but I fight with the Force as well. Let's see what you've learned.
Oh, <laughs> 
I told the other masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you. To try to understand what happened to you. What a fool I was. And now you are no doubt seeking to destroy the Jedi. But the remaining Jedi will gather again very soon. This, at least, you cannot prevent. Telos. But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I, I don't know what you mean. Atris? But I thought she died with the rest on Qatar. You've met other Jedi, I can tell. But you won't find me an easy opponent. I will not give you the benefit of my wisdom, Dark One. Very well. Perhaps my knowledge will sway you from your dark designs. I was one of the only council members who believed in you. Part of me still does. But what do you have to say for yourself? When you stood before us in the council chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you we'd never felt before. It was as if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force, in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You formed bonds so easily, and they flowed deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the Force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it's leaving something in its wake. Something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. The deaths of these Jedi, the destruction of Qatar, all of these things are leaving behind echoes. Like the one we felt from you in the council chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you. But we couldn't call you back from exile because we didn't know where you'd gone. I know that all too well. I came here to find them, and now... You always had deep connections to the Force, when I first sparred with you during your training at a Padawan. Do you really think I would tell you? What do you expect me to say? You defied the Council, all those lives during the Mandalore. Apparently, your self-inflicted wounds would not heal.
Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Batlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny. One larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Her mastery of the blade has improved, but there is more to leadership than skill with the blade. Jedi, do you want to take care of her? I will not forget this. Do what you will. I will not fall easily. sacrifice was necessary to ensure our future. This could not have happened without you. You will be given everything I promised you. I risked a great deal by asking for your assistance, as did you in helping. Your reward is well earned. Because I had faith in you. I know who you are. You are the last of the Jedi. 
hunted by the Exchange, the Sith, and the Hotspawn knows who else. They've thrown everything they have to capture and kill you, but you cannot be stopped. If anyone could save us from our fate, it was you. After we've secured the city, and that will take time, you will always be welcome here. If the Republic hunts you down as a price of your ambition, this place will be a haven to you. I will never forget what you have done this day. As do I, Jedi. As do I. Your shuttle is awaiting you. After the Civil War is taken care of, which will take time, you are welcome back. Hey, the gang's back together. I must hear all about your vacation in Onderon. Well, that's good, I guess. Powerful people butt heads. It's usually the little guy who suffers most. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action. It might be helpful if I made some changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. That would be a welcome improvement. My combat effectiveness could be better sustained, providing an advantageous arrangement. And my miniature counterpart would finally be able to pull his weight in a fight. Then I'll work on. There, you should be able to do some quick fixes. You won't be able to perform serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. You know, I think it's time I gave your cutting laser a little boost. It works fine for repairs, but we could use your help in a firefight. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure they keep you out of their scopes. Hey, it's something for Goto to be jealous of, right? Think of it this way. You can keep Goto in line with... I don't understand why you won't let me take a look. Statement. I've had quite enough tampering at the hands of unskilled meatbags. Unskilled meatbag? Appeasement. I did not mean to imply that you were an un... It is only that I am quite particular... Iridonian. If I might have a moment. What is it, Yoto? I have spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are... I am impressed with your work, though less so with your remote itself. What's wrong with my remote? I find his use of resources, energy spent on frivolous things, to be an unsightly waste. But it is obvious you have some skill, however... I should be able to do something. I will see what I... So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war. I was part of the war effort, yet. But you fought on the front lines, to a man- I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destru- And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like- If I were you, I'd pick your- You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but mur The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to- That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me- Defeat is part of a warrior's life. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in- Well, I'm glad to have- 
fine by me. Yes. That crystal is bon most interesting. Your is there something else? Have you never asked? Ah. Yes. That crystal is bonded to you. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There. Now. Is there something else? He. If he can. He. 